welcome to my channel and today I'm documenting my 30 day challenge of sampling the probiotic l rotary. Now studies have said about this, this interesting probiotic, I don't know why I said pro interesting, but this probiotic is meant to have some health benefits and I wanted to see how it would impact my ADHD and my overall health and seeing how what interesting things I can find out about it. Elder Rotary is a strain of um, probiotic bacteria in our gut. Now, the reason I wanted to try it out was A, it says it helps with your digestion health, which is always good, reduces some inflammation, and what I really want it for is it can improve your sleep, potentially. But I've also heard recently that it also might help with um, another area of your life you know the, that sense of feeling connected with others so i'm interested to see how this works if it really does have an impact so to start i recorded a baseline of my health so in terms of my digestion say movements um, my energy levels and my sleep sleep quality um just to see where i am with each passing moment and keep an observation of what the actual impacts I'm actually having on my body and if there is any differences and how I'm doing the test is I'm taking it every day in the morning on an empty stomach one tablet a day and um, just to see if it what the impacts just to keep it as consistent as possible so in my first week first thing I noticed is that initially I had a lot more bubbling now i don't know if that was to do with a is killing any um, bad bacteria in my stomach or whether it's just reacting badly to me i couldn't tell you that um i don't have a phd on that but all i know it was bubbling and then after a couple of days the bubbling started to subside um and i also noticed that my bowel movements became really regular so i i had to go to the toilet at a specific time there's no if buts or maybes i just had to go and I also noticed that my cold cleared up a lot faster than I was expecting. So I'd had a cold for maybe a couple of days and usually that hangs around for two weeks, you know, the, you know, the usual. However, it actually cleared up fairly fast. And then on the next two weeks, I noticed that I became more caring, per se, um, as I wanted to help people like me traditionally i like to if you live in london you know you just want to keep to yourself but i found myself wanting to help people as if as an example a lady on the tube you know when you're getting out of the tube you just want to rush you just want to get out of there as soon as far possible and i saw a lady with uh, uh with a walking stick and she had shopping and she was struggling to get down the stairs and i just stopped and asked her if she needed some help and helped her out of the station now me traditionally probably wouldn't do that i'm minding my own business i got places to go but i was like no let me just help her out and that was something really interesting and i just find myself even with my girlfriend that i'm more wanting to help her out more caring um and i'm more wanting to share stuff uh which is quite interesting now on the fourth week i found myself the stomach my stomach started to bubble up again which is really frustrating um i noticed that i'm become really um intolerant to spice and if i have say uh, aspartame my stomach starts to bubble it really doesn't like aspartame and some sweeteners i have to keep my food very simple so anything that's processed really processed my stomach doesn't like it now chili really doesn't like it oh my god i was in pain usually you know being you know caribbean and african you like your spicy food nah man no more it's like mm -mm. my stomach says no 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 don't do it so for me i was like all right i gotta calm this down so what i've had to do is take another probiotic just to balance it out and i also noticed that greek yogurt seems to help me a lot generally um just to calm down the noises because throughout the night i'm hearing my stomach go which yeah, really pisses me off uh, but <laughs> it's something you've got to deal with. Um, now, for myself, I would say, in conclusion, I'll say, is it worth it? For me, I would say, 
Oh, I also forgot to mention that I did notice that I am con- finding it a lot easier to concentrate uh, in the last week. Um, like I can now, if I want to concentrate, I can concentrate, um, which I've never had. I've never had, especially if the topic's boring, I could never concentrate, but now I can concentrate. So in conclusion, I would definitely say for me, uh, anybody has ADHD, um, I would say give it a, sh- a try. You never know. Um, it might have the same reaction, might not, but I definitely would like to hear your your perspective on what you experience. Um, so yeah, give me a shout out. I'll definitely will be trying some more stuff to see if it, a you know if it can help me out in different ways with my uh, ADHD or just being a nicer person in <laughs> all eventualities of life and just take it from there. But yeah, thanks for watching.